Can I meet you two bears? It's now time for our head to head. Well, congratulations, Alex, Seth, Stephen, and Richard. You are now one step closer to the final and a chance to play for our jackpot, which currently stands at £2,250. <laughs> The important news is we're now in the head-to-head, -head, which means you can stop playing as a pair, you can chat before you give your answers, and the first pair to win two questions will be playing for that jackpot. Well, Stephen and Richard, you've been in the head-to-head -head before. We have, Alexander. Yes. It was very tense. It was <laughs> tense, and the jackpot's a little bit bigger now. Um, Alex and Senth have come in, and they have been our low scorers every round, so you know what you're up against. But together, I think you might be a match for them. Best of luck to both pairs. Let's play the head-to-head. Here is your first question, and it concerns beer. Richard. Yes, simply five clues to facts about beer. How about that? Well, how about it? Yeah. How about it? Here are five facts about beer, or clues to them. Staffordshire Town, where the National Brewery Centre was opened in 2010. Bass player Gary Beers was a founder member of this Australian band. Animated TV series that features Duff Beer and the theme park Duff Gardens. British engraver who created the 1751 Prince Beer Street in Gin Lane. And the country whose name denotes a type of pale ale that's often referred to by the abbreviation IPA. I'll read those again. Staffordshire Town, where the National Brewery Centre was opened in 2010. Bass player Gary Beers was a founder member of this Australian band. Animated TV series that features Duff Beer in the theme park Duff Gardens. British engraver who created the 1751 Prince Beer Street in Gin Lane. And the country whose name denotes a type of pale ale that's often referred to by the abbreviation IPA. There we go. Now then, Alex and Senth, you will go first because you're our low scorers. OK. Well, we, we have some familiarity with beer. Um, perhaps not to the degree to know all the answers to this board. Uh, to the bottom one. Yeah, yeah. So we think the bottom one, the country whose name is denoted by the I, uh, ahead of pale ale, is India. India. So Alex and sent India. Now, Stephen, Richard, can you talk us through that board? Um, very difficultly. Um, don't know the first one. The bass player Gary Beers can come up with so many Australian bands. I can rule that in excess. Obviously, the animated TV series is The Simpsons. And the British engraver. How many do you know a famous British yeah. engraver who created? Oh, so, Gary Beers was a founder member of this Australian band, Midnight Oil. Midnight Oil, says so Stephen and Richard. So, we have India and we have Midnight Oil. Alex and Senth have gone for India for IPA. Let's see how many of our 100 people have said India. It's right. 42. And after a bit of deliberation, Stephen and Richard have <laughs> arrived at Midnight Oil for the band Gary Beers plays with. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Midnight Oil, if it's right. Bad luck. I'm afraid not Midnight Oil, but that means Alex and Seth, after one question, you are up 1 0. Yeah, we'll get on to that answer last. I'll reveal the other ones first. The Staffordshire Town, very well known for its uh, brewing, whereas Burton on Trent would have scored you 20 points. Uh, the animated TV series was The Simpsons, uh, would have scored you 57 points, though. Uh, the engraver, Hogarth, was Hogarth, yeah, William Hogarth. He would have scored you 12 points. And the Australian band is the only one you definitively ruled out. It's in excess and would have, scored, oh, would have scored seven points. Would have been the best answer on the board. Thank you very much indeed. OK, now here comes your second question. Stephen and Richard, you have to win this one to stay in the game. But you get to answer it first, so the advantage is yours. Our second question today is all about words without vowels. Richard, yeah, we're going to show you five pictures now which represents words which have no vowels in them. Uh, we're also going to give you the first letter of those words, but can you tell us what the words are, please? Thank you very much indeed. Let's reveal our five pictures, and here they come. We have got A... G. B. R. C. C. D. M. And E. L. There we are. Five clues to words without vowels. Stephen and Richard will go first. I 
Okay, um, we're going to go with C and we're going to go crypt. C, crypt, say Stephen and Richard. Now then, Alex and Sense, do you fancy talking us through that board? Um, so we think A is glyph, glyph yeah. and then B, uh, rhythm, um, we think they're correct with C, and then E is links, and we can't quite tell what D is. Um, then we're going to go A. You will say A is glyph. glyph. A glyph. So we have crypt and we have glyph. Um, Stephen and Richard said crypt. Let's see how many of our 100 people said that. Is right. 60 for crypt. Alex and Seth, meanwhile, have gone for A and glyph. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said glyph. It is glyph. And that wins you the point. Very well done indeed. Down it goes for 11. Very well done indeed, Alex and Seth. That means after only two questions, you're straight through to the final 2-0. Yeah, terrific answer. Very well played. Um, most famous Egyptian pop stars, Glyph Richard. <laughs> uh, now, let's look at the rest of these. B is rhythm. As you said, that would have scored you 31. We'll move to E next which is links and it's the biggest scorer we scored 74 now i love the fact that so many people at home will be looking at d and saying um but muesli's got loads of vowels in it. yeah <laughs> uh, this is a very it, famous substance that we've all heard of it is myrrh myrrh mm. is the right answer and it's a pointless <gasps> answer so very well done if you wow. said that i'm very surprised by that thank you very much indeed richard well that means we have come to the end of our head-to-head -head round and Stephen and richard i'm afraid this is the point where we have to say goodbye to you but uh Thank you so much for playing. You made your way twice through to the head-to-head. -head. Shows it wasn't a fluke the first time, see, but uh, <laughs> very, very well done. I'm sorry you didn't get to take home a pointless trip, but it's been great having you here. Thank you so much. Stephen and Richard. <laughs> but for Alex and Seth, it is now time for our pointless final. Congratulations, Alex and Seth. You have fought off all the competition, and you have won our coveted pointless trophy. So very well done. <laughs> You now have a chance to win our pointless jackpot. At the end of today's show, the jackpot is standing at £2,250. <laughs> well, I mean, no surprise really to see you here. You were the low scorers in round one, low scorers in round two, 2-0 two in the head-to-head. -head. And here you are. I mean, very efficient work you've made of this. And it's good, because it means you'll be back to your research. Because we need you. Yeah. We need you back there. Um, but what would you like to see come up in this last round? Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a film buff, so that, that would be quite good. Yeah. Something science-y or medically related <laughs> would be good. Okay, well, you know how it works. There will be four things for you to choose from on our first board. Let's see what today's selection looks like. We've got Motown, Game of Thrones, classic 1940s cinema, Royal Georges. Um, I think we're going to go with Game of Thrones, please. Game of Thrones. Hmm. I'm a bit of a film buff. I, I'll go for classic 1940s cinema. No, no, Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, Game of Thrones it is, Richard. Well, these days, television is like cinema. Really it? It turns of its scale and all that kind of stuff. And if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you've picked a very nice category here, I have to say. We're looking for any of the following, please. We're looking for any actor who has appeared in ten or more episodes of Game of Thrones. We're looking for the name of any named character of Game of Thrones up to the end of season seven, or we're looking for any writer or director of any episode of Game of Thrones, again, up to the end of season seven. So actors in 10 or more, any character, according to the Game of Thrones website, or any writer and director, again, according to the Game of Thrones official website, and these are all up to August 2017. Very best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. Now, as always, you've got up to one minute to come up with three answers, and all you need to win that jackpot is for just one of those answers to be pointless. Are you ready? OK, let's put 60 seconds up on the clock. There they are, your time starts now. OK, so characters have got to be the easiest, right? Um, so I don't know why one of the youngest starts, like Rick Stark. I don't know, uh, can you think of anything less? Human characters, are. OK, but do you know the dragon's name? Um, yeah, probably not. Okay, okay, um, yeah. So then, um, a Targaryen, so like Aegon Targaryen. Um, I, know, I know some of the actors, so... Um, so, uh, obscure actor, so Thomas Brody Sangster. Hatful Beyonce. 
Uh, I thought Bjornsson, yeah. Um, David Bradley, that he's got. And then, uh, I, I know a director, actually, because yeah. he's done films as well, which I quite like. So there's okay. a guy called... I'm pretty sure it's Rob Marshall. Okay. And made films like okay. Dog Soldiers and things like that. It's okay. direct so okay. battle episodes. The thing is, the actors well. have got to be in 10 episodes. There's only like 60 seasons. That's yeah. difficult, right? Um, okay. 10 seconds then. Half of Beyonce. Half of Beyonce. Thomas Crowe, Sexter, and Dog Marshall. Okay. Good. Well, to... Okay. That's your time up. Sounds like you've got lots of answers to choose from. Uh, what three are you going to give me? Okay, so we're going to go with a couple of actors. We're going to play, we're going to say first, Halfjord Bjornsson. Halfjord Bjornsson. Um, Thomas Brody Sangster. Thomas Brody Sangster. And one of the directors is uh, Rob Marshall. And Rob Marshall. Of those three, which is your best shot at a pointless answer? Rob Marshall, I think. What okay, yeah, Rob Marshall. Okay, Rob Marshall will put last. They all sound pretty good to me, but uh, which is your least likely to be pointless, Huffy do you think? Bjornsson. Yeah, Halfjord Bjornsson. Halfjord Bjornsson. We'll put first. OK, well, let's put those answers up on the board in that order, then, and here they are. We have got Hafjord Bjornsson, Thomas Brody Sangster, and Rob Marshall. Well, very, very best of luck. Three great answers on the board there. Surely you've got to hope one of those will be pointless. If one is and wins you that jackpot of £2,250, what would you like to do with the money? Alex, you first. Um... Well, we, we like to go away with, group, with a big group of friends from the university, some of whom have seem to be returning from living uh, in Brazil for a while, so we could have made that quite a, a good blowout, I think, with that money. Fantastic. Senth, anything you want to add to that? Um, yeah, so I give a little bit of it to um, a charity that I'm quite close to. Um, they're called Fight for Sight, so they fund research into vision um, and blindness, and okay. then the rest of it I'm going to... Um, Hawaii for work, so I'd spend it on a bit of a holiday afterwards. Very nice indeed. Well, very best of luck. As I say, three good answers there. Let's hope one of these will win that jackpot for you. Your first answer was Happy or Bjornsson. In this case, we are looking for any actor in ten or more episodes of Game of Thrones. If Happy or Bjornsson is pointless, you leave here with £2,250. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Happy or Bjornsson. It's right. It now simply has to be pointless, and you will take that jackpot of £2,250 away with you. Down we go into single figures, still going down with Happy or Bjornsson. We have done it! Congratulations, Hakio Bjornsson was a pointless answer, which means you go home with today's jackpot of £2,250. Very well done indeed, Alex is there. <laughs> yeah, very well done, James. That, uh, that kind of has been waiting there just for any Game of Thrones fan to come along and take it, because there's so many pointless answers in the different categories, so great that you finally come along. And got it. Thomas Brody sent to also a pointless answer, it won't surprise you to hear. Rob Marshall, incorrect answer, is Neil Marshall was the, uh, the guy you're thinking of. He would have scored you one point anyway. Would have been a terribly disappointing end to the uh, <laughs> to the final. Uh, but I'll show you some of the actors here, and you'll see immediately some of the literally the biggest names in Game of Thrones were pointless answers. Let's take a look. Diana Rigg, Gwendolyn Christie, Jonathan Price, Natalie Dormer. I mean, people you would never have said because you think they'll, they'll score points. Uh, Anton Lesser, Gemma Whelan, a pointless answer. Uh, Indira Farmer, Una Chaplin, Owen Teal, Paul K. Peter Vaughan, Julian Glover, Tara Fitzgerald. Loads and loads of pointless answers there. The big scorers, Kit Harrington, Sean Bean, Peter Dinklage, they were the highest scorers. Let's take a look now at these characters. Now, in the characters one, there were 177 pointless answers. There's a few of them up there for you. Caitlin Stark, Hodor. I mean, there's there's hundreds and hundreds. There's so many of them. Apart from the big obvious ones, everything else is a pointless answer. And those writers and directors of Game of Thrones, unsurprisingly, fewer answers here because it's a smaller category. Alex Graves, directed six episodes. Jane Espenson, one of the writers. Jeremy Pedeswa, another director, another writer. Vanessa Taylor. George R. R. Martin, unsurprisingly, the uh, the biggest scorer there. Um, very well done if you've got any of those answers. If you're a Game of Thrones fan and you gave three answers, I guarantee you one of them would have been pointless. So very well done. And gents, congratulations. A good day to come along. But you've absolutely stormed it throughout the entire show, so it's well deserved. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. And thanks once again to our winning players, Alex and Seth, who go away with today's jackpot of £2,250. <laughs> Join us next time when we'll be putting more obscure knowledge to the test on pointers. Meanwhile, it's goodbye from Richard. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>